Lou has a solid clay brick in the shape of a rectangular prism with a length of eight inches. All right, let's draw this out. So Lou has a rectangular brick. And the way in which you draw a rectangular prism, right? You draw two rectangles about the same size and then you're just gonna connect the vertices there. And voila, you have yourself a rectangular prism. Okay, with a length of eight, a width of 3.5, and a height of 2.25. So this is going to be 3.5, this is going to be 2.25, and a length of eight. All right, if the clay weighs 1.055 ounce per inches cubed, okay, so 1.055 ounce per inches cubed. This is otherwise known as the density. This is the density. Okay. How much does lose brick weigh to the nearest ounce? Okay. So in order for us to figure this out, we need to find out what is the volume of this clay, uh, of this brick. So once we know the volume of the brick, we can then determine the weight in ounces. So let's first find the volume, the volume of a prism and this is true for any prism, is always going to be the area of the base times the height, right? So the area is always going to be the area that's um, uh, at the beginning and at the end. And then these are the lateral edges. These are the lateral sides. The lateral edges are always supposed to be parallel to one another, and that's how you can tell what, which, uh, which face of the prism that you're dealing with is actually our base, okay? This information may be a little bit of an overkill for this problem, but in future problems, you may need to utilize this fact. So area of the base is 2.25 times 3.5 times the height, or the height in this case is our length. So that's our volume. Notice that I have 1.055 ounce per inch cubed, and I want to figure out what is the weight, right? The information, the, the thing that I found over here Using a little bit of dimensional analysis here, all of these dimensions are measured in inches, right? So that means my final quantity is going to be in inches as well, but it's going to be inches cubed. So let's figure out what this is. 2.25, so I'm going to get my calculator. 2.25 times 3.5 times 8, and that's 63. So I'm going to have the volume of the brick is 63 inches cubed. Now, look what I have here. I have 1.055 ounce per inches cubed. What I want to do, right, 1.055 ounce per inches cubed can be re-expressed as 1.055 ounce divided by 1 inch cubed, right? So that's exactly how I'm going to write this. I want the inches cubed to cancel, and I want ounces to remain. So I want to write one inch cubed in the denominator here. I'm going to write 1.055 ounces in the numerator. These are thought of as fractions, right? So if I have 63 inches cubed over 1, which doesn't have a unit, multiplied by 1.055 ounce per inch, 1 inch cubed, the inches will then cancel, and I'm going to be left with my value in ounces. So let's take a look at what that is. So 63 times 1.055, whoops. So times 1.055, that would be 66.465, whoops. And ounces, but the answer says to round to the nearest ounce. So that would give me 66 because I don't have uh, when you round, you always round when it's 0.5 or more, you always round up. Since we have, point f uh, we have something under 0.5, it's, we're going to round down. So this is going to be 66, and that's this guy right there.